Hello Collective, this is a special reading for our Leos. Calling in our angels and guides, thank you so much. I'm going to do a quick card reading just to find out, oops, kind of where uh, Leos are at right now. And then I'm gonna pull some runes. I'm gonna do a four stone rune reading. Thank you angels, thank you divine for your insight, your wisdom, your guidance, your protection. Uh, can you give me some guidance for Leo today? Where are our Leos right now? And what do they need to hear? We've got see from a higher perspective. What else can you give to my Leos, please? Whoop. Where'd it go? <laughs> Maybe it didn't flip. Okay. Oh, here we go. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. So see things from a higher perspective, love and let yourself be loved. What else do we have for our Leos? Bask in joy and light. This is your birthday season, Leo. Bask in the joy and in the light. I'm going to now pull four runes. Uh, this, again, this is a four stone rune reading for our Leos. These are for guidance. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. What do you have for our Leos? Okay, we have Joy, Wunjo. Kinship, heritage, joy. A reminder maybe for some of you to check in with your family. That could be soul family. That doesn't have to be blood family, right? Okay, uh, we also have sun, thunderbolt, wheel of power. Okay, this is you, Leo. Sunshine, that's your card in the tarot. Okay, we've also got divine union and manifestation. For some of you, you could be finding your soulmate. Twin flames have been coming through with all these shifts. Okay, it could mean uh, divine union with the divine, learning to partner with the divine, and manifestation. Oh, you know what? I am actually reading the wrong one. I am so sorry. I'm learning how to use these. I apologize. I really apologize. Strike that back. This is horse, Iwas, twin gods and relationships. Okay, so we talked about the wheel of power, right? And we talked about joy, kinship, heritage, and joy. And this is about relationships. So I apologize for misreading that. I was looking, I first thought it was the cross one. Um, anyway, this could be having to do with your relationships. Um, you know, part of, part of growing and aligning in our own spirituality is figuring out our relationships and that's our relationship with ourself it could be um, our relationships with other people it could be sorting through bloodline um, and family relationships okay and um, then <clears throat> excuse me we have intuition in the light within day guys dawn okay I'm gonna pull a couple cards here just for clarity Real quick, three. Oh my goodness, they're like already popping out. We've got the King of Cups. Okay. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> okay. Uh, for some of you, okay, you could be, this could be, you know, saying that you're embodying the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. You're balancing this out. For some of you, you could be pulling in a new relationship and with the cup energy here, this is coming from the divine, okay? This is not an old relationship. This is new. I'm not saying that it can't be a past person, but this is a new relationship that's coming in. Um, a reminder that to have boundaries, that you already have your boundaries. This is new. Um, Ace of Swords, this is new things that are coming in. Um, I'm also... Okay, the war's over, you know, you're, this is like the coming together of two 
into one. Okay, this is new for you if you want it. I get some more clarity on that for my Leos, please. Some more clarity. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, guys. Oh, here we go. Okay, I've got the Six of Swords. For some of you, this means that um, this relationship is going to pull you into calmer waters. Again, this could be you partnering with the divine, mastering your your ma you know your masculine and your feminine, balancing out. Okay, um, which could be new for you. This could also be a relationship. Um, notice there's two people in the boat. Okay, you're traveling on to smoother waters. Okay. You've got your boundaries up. Um, you're being protected. Okay. And I, when I talk about boundaries, I think that we need to understand that we are responsible for setting our boundaries, but we also have divine help um, within that protection. Okay. I'm getting to read just a couple more cards here. Can you give us some insight on the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, please, for Leo? Because we're talking a lot about um, relationships here. Can you give me some insights on the Queen and the King of Cups, please? Okay, I've got the Queen of Swords. I've got the Five of Wands. So there may be some battles going on around you. You do not have to participate, okay? Queen of Swords energy. She's looking out to the future here. She's showing, you know, I can fight if I need to. Right? Give me some more insight. What about this relationship, please? For Leo. Okay. What do we have here? I've got the Five of Pentacles. feel like some of you, um, yeah, okay, turning into the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, I feel like this is what you were going through. This, you know, Five of Wands, okay, scarcity, um, you know, see, scarcity mindset, okay? You're being called to see from a higher perspective. We carry with us just by tuning into the divine, we carry with us um, such great assistance and such light. And I see this turning into the Ace of Pentacles, which is, this is being divinely given to you. Okay. And I'm getting that, you know, with this relationship, whether you're partnering with spirit, okay. And you are mastering, you know, that balance, you know, this is going to be the result. Spirit is saying, you know, um, You've gone through some battles. You're moving on to calmer waters, or that's your intention, and it's going to pay off for you, okay? Spirit is going to bring that in for you. I'm going to do an oracle card here. What do you have for our Leos, please, who are dealing with their relationships? Maybe you're dealing with some ancestral baggage that you're trying to release and know that our ancestors, we've been chosen to be on this planet at this time, and our ancestors are rooting for us, okay? Because we're clearing generational bloodlines with some of the work that we're doing, right? By healing ourselves, we're healing back generations. So obviously the ancestors are going to be rooting for us, okay? I've got protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords and soul retrieval. Okay, you are being protected. You need to stand in that power. You need to see things from a higher perspective, okay, so that you can move on and bask in the joy and the light. You are protected, okay? You're already doing it. That was the second card that came out. Two cards came out. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. 
you're already doing it. You're divinely protected. Okay, soul, soul retrieval. It's about pulling back your power, pieces of yourself that you might have lost, left along the way with other folks, okay, or in other places or spaces, right? But you are protected during this process, okay, which is important to note. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more of these. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? See things from a higher perspective. Is what you're involved in right now, okay, is that about your highest calling? I hope this has been helpful for you. Leo, for those of you that are really struggling with past trauma, I'm going to go ahead and pull a keep it simple, stupid card or sweetheart. Keep it simple, sweetheart. We've got healing. When you feel unwell, ask the angels of healing to help you. You've got Archangel Raphael. And since that popped out, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of those cards for you. This is for our lovely Leos, please. Archangel Raphael, healing cards. Can you please give us some insight? This is for Leo. Can you give us some insight for our lovely Leos. Oh. Study and grow. I keep hearing study and grow. Trust and thrive. Can you give us some insight into the healing aspect of our Leos, please? Wow. You guys must be doing really well because none of these cards are popping out. Okay. Oh, wow. Or maybe they did. Yeah. This is about sobriety. Dear Divine and Archangel Raphael, thank you for adjusting my cravings. Thank you for adjusting my cravings in healthy directions so that I desire life-affirming foods and beverages. So you're being called out here um, to thank the angels for changing your cravings into good things. I've got relationship. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love which is the rune message that you got. Okay, that includes the relationship with yourself. I've got home help. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept from you, the angels, and others in matters regarding my family and home. So for a lot of you, this might be healing bloodlines. Say to yourself, angels of healing, please help me to feel better. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. These cards just popped out, so I'm going to read them for you. Meditation. Dear Archangel Raphael, please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace, peace health, and wellness. Find that joy. Laughter is the best medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. <laughs> you guys must be going through a lot of dramatic stuff for your relationships right now. Just remember, okay, that your Ace of Pentacles is coming. Consult a nutritionist. I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good or fulfilling and support my ideal health and weight. So I hope this has been helpful for you. As always, take really good care of yourselves. Take care of each other and please be kind out there.